What's up guys? We are back with another video. This time we're going to be talking a little bit about the 2023 Tops buyback um, program that is going on. Uh, so they haven't announced the players to look out for because what it is is that once the MVPs are announced for each league for uh, the National League and American League, then uh, we will know exactly what players to go after. So it's pretty much uh, what it is, is that tops in the past, like last year was the first year they did it. They gave uh, credits um, and I wasn't here in the States, so I didn't really participate in, in it for last year. But from my understanding was you can uh, go to your participating local card shop and then there was also some online retailers that were uh, participating in it. Uh, I believe like Dave and Adams and stuff like that was participating in it. So uh, last year was Paul Goldschmidt and then uh, Aaron Judge. So if you had a base card, a refractor, or a number card of theirs in the Topps Chrome set, you were able to um, give, you know, give those to the card shop for a credit and what it is is that they continued for 2023 they're continuing with the same amount dollar amounts they did in 2022 which was a base card was twenty dollars refractors were forty dollars numbered cards above 100 uh were a hundred dollars and then number cards uh 99 and under were two hundred dollars so if you had two refractors, you would get $80 worth of credit at your local card shop if they were participating in this. And, you know, it's pretty much a lot of people were experiencing different uh, experiences in this. Most card shops were pretty flexible on this. So like if you went in and you gave them, you know, two refractors for $80, you got $80 store credit to purchase uh, product, you know, uh, wax, you know, and some, some were more le lenient than others where they were giving you $80 to buy whatever you wanted in the store. Uh, some were kind of being a little bit more strict with it and capping off the amount. So it's pretty much, you know, depending on your local card shop, if they're participating and how stingy they were with the buyback. Um, so what I have done is that uh, kind of went over the buyback program at a very high level. Of course, go on to a card shop. Go, I mean, not card shop, but um, go on to uh, online Google and uh, look up your your card shop, you know, and see if they're going to be participating in this first off. And then also second is... Uh, just have to wait until the MVPs are announced in each league. But with that said, I have a mail day here. And what it is, is that this mail day, uh, what I did was when Topps Chrome was released, a lot of people were posting cards for sale online. Uh, some of these, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Some of them, not so much, but I'm, I'm, I went ahead and took the risk of investing in Freddie Freeman uh, for MVP. And I know right now the AL, the American League, uh, Shohei is kind of locked down for at this point. I, I think pretty much he could pretty much sit out the rest of the season and still win the MVP possibly. Uh, but in the National League, it's, you know, People say Ron Acuna is kind of like in the lead, and he he is, but I don't think he has that big of a lead that some people are making out to be. And what I did was I went ahead and got some of the numbers here uh, to compare the two, right? So uh, first, first, most importantly, is their team records, right? The Braves are 70 and 39. Dodgers are 64 and 46. So the Braves do have a, uh, you know, six and a half game lead, right, on the uh, Dodgers. 
So they do have a little bit better record than the Dodgers. Uh, but I did want to point this out because that's 109 games for the Braves, 110 games for, for the Dodgers, right? And then once we look over here, Ronald Cunha and Freddie Fre Freeman have each played every game this year for their teams. They, so they haven't missed, right? Runs, 99 for Acuna, 97 for, for Freeman. Hits, they're both tied at 149. Doubles, Ron Acuna with 28, Freeman with 40. So Freeman leads Acuna by 12 doubles. Triples, they're tied at 2. Home runs, Acuna leads by 3 with 25, Freeman with 23. RBI, 67 for Acuna, 80 for Freeman. Stolen bases, this is where it's a huge gap here, right? There's 53 for Acuna, 16 for Freeman. So a huge, huge gap right there. Walks, 58 for Acuna, 51 for Freeman. Now look at these, these numbers here. Batting average, 443 for Acuna, 339 for Freeman. On base, 425 for Acuna, 416 for Freeman. Slugging, 589 for Acuna, 595 for Freeman. And then OPS, 1.014 for Acuna, 1.011 for Freeman. So these numbers are pretty much, I mean, except for like the stolen bases, they're pretty much like neck to neck, you know? Um, and it really only takes a good, you know, five to 10 game hot streak for each, for any of these players to really set them apart at this point. You know, it, it wouldn't take much to, you know, for Acuna to go on a cold streak and then Freeman go on a hot streak. Uh, but, you know, it, it was it was kind of um, just weird looking at some of the pricing because when you look at 2023 Topps Chrome, the word is already out. People already know that, you know, uh, they're going to be doing the program again this year. So if you looked at the pricing for Acuna and Shohei's base cards, refractors, they're pretty much going for around these prices, right? But if you looked at the Freeman cards, they're going for a lot less. So what I did, I went ahead and purchased a bunch of Freeman cards, you know, and so this video is gonna kind of go over some of those cards I bought, the pricing, and also, um, you know, just to document the, um, the opening of the mail day here. So uh, first card I paid here is $15, free shipping for this one here. Go ahead and open these up. Pretty, pretty fancy. Little cardboard here. So This one I paid fifteen dollars right here, and this is a numbered card out of three fifty for a free Freeman. So thank you card. Interesting, I've never received one of these. Okay, just the invoice. That's all it is. So, uh, yeah, just the invoice. So, fifteen dollars. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. Let's see what kind of. So this one was six cards. I paid ten dollars for all six. And again, these were base cards, right? 
So base cards, these are going for 20 bucks each on the program. And um, so if Freeman were to win the NL MVP, I would be able to get $120 store credit with these here. Right, and each one of them, oh wow, hold on. It's supposed to be six cards, but it looks like there are more than six. So there's three. Interesting. So, I guess I got, <laughs> all right, I guess the, the buyer, I mean, the seller must have hooked me up with three free cards there. So, nine base cards. So, not too bad right there. Not too shabby at all. So, this one here was $8 and $1.25 for shipping. And this one was a refractor. So again, refractors are going for $40. Uh, this one was $7 and shipping and handling was $1. So a total of almost eight, eight seventy-eight. So this one, and it's a prism refractor. And then this one was $10 plus free shipping. So this one is another prism refractor. This one was $45. So uh, total came out to $55. So this one was kind of expensive. Um, I'm not sure if I should have bought this one because I really didn't want to, you know, I didn't really mean to spend this much money on this. I just wanted to Put some money into it and they'll make it kind of entertaining so i could watch freddie freeman even though i do like acuna a lot uh but i think uh freddie freeman is kind of a they're a better personality so this one's 199 uh number out of 199 so this one i'll be getting 100 bucks as well and this one is a hundred bucks as well. So two number cards right there for a hundred each. And then this one was $3.99 plus 99 cents shipping came out to $5 and 39 cents. And this is another refractor. This one came out to eight dollars, and then three seventy-five for shipping came out to a total of twelve seventy-two. All right, that's cool. This is a nice little. another prism refractor so I spent $12 on this one as well all right oh this is a Trevor Lawrence I bought number out 149 it's not part of that 
this one I paid one eleven ninety seven and eighty seven. Uh, since shipping this was supposed to be for three cards but kind of feels kind of light nope all three cards are in there cards three base cards so not too bad there and then this one was eight dollars plus two dollars shipping This is another Prism Sophia. And then we're gonna wrap it up with one more. Another pink refractor. So again, I purchased two numbered, a bunch of base cards, and then a bunch of refractors here. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven refractors. So that would be a total of $280 of credit. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 280 there. Base cards, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 12 that's 240 there and then two numbered so that's 200 so 340 was it 240 340 plus 280 so about maybe $600 of credit here i got something about those lines so the only card I think I should not have bought was that $50 card. I think I maybe overspent more than what I wanted to because it is a risk. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to show, show you guys the uh, uh, what I'm doing here. And hopefully, Freddy Freeman wins the NL MVP, and then I'm able to cash in on these cards. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Take care, be safe, and talk to you later. Bye.